Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies. In this video, we can discuss about deferable views in Angular. This is the new feature in Angular 17 for doing lazy loading of any of the content in order to improve the application performance. Now we can see how to use this deferable views in Angular application and what are the blocks it's having and what are the triggers it's having. We can see everything one by one. So now let me go to the application. So let me take this app component. So we have this router outlet. Next let me include one H1 tag also. Okay. See the output. So even if I'm refreshing also in this page there is no difference because both are loaded from the initial load itself. Okay. Now I'm going to use this defer. So the syntax is at defer. We can move this router outlet section in this defer block. So let me save this one. Again we have the same output only. If you are clearly noted when I am refreshing. In this H1 tag there is no load difference. At the same time in this area we can see some slight difference. So the reason is the initial load time it's not loaded. After some fraction of seconds only it's loaded. Okay. So the real time scenario is some of the contents are not needed for the initial load that may needed for after some logic execution or after some time period and also some even happening for handling these all the activities we have the triggers. Okay. So let me explain all the triggers one by one. For using the triggers uh, we can use two keywords one is on and another one is the when. First we can use this on. My first trigger is ideal. So this ideal trigger is the default one. Even if you are not provided any trigger also it will use the same ideal only. So anyway there is no difference. Next we can use the timer. I am going to load this content after 1000 milliseconds. See the response. See initially it's not loaded after 10 milliseconds only it's loaded. We can move on to the next trigger. Viewport. I am just commenting this code for the reference. Viewport. See, we are getting this error. The reason is if you are using this uh, viewport trigger, make sure we have to use this uh, placeholder block. Okay, so the placeholder block isn't just an optional block only, but if you are using this viewport, then it is the mandatory one. So, if you want to show some of the content or text before loading our exact content, we can use this placeholder block. Let me explain. So, the syntax is at placeholder. And we can provide some content. See now the error got resolved. See. If you are noted, uh, we can see the placeholder text is coming and it is going very quickly. So if you want to see the text very clearly. So let me use this timer trigger once again. So initially the placeholder text only showing after some times only our content is loaded. Okay. So the next trigger is interaction. I'm just a saved one. For this trigger will be executed if there is any interaction happened in our component area. See now in this initial load it is just showing this placeholder text only. So if I'm doing some interaction in this area see the content is loaded. Okay, so next what I'm going to do the same interaction we can apply for the specific components like uh, we have this H1 element. Okay, so if I'm doing any interaction in this H1 if you want to uh, show our content means I have to include the identifier like this and in this interaction we have to provide this one. Okay. So you know it's loaded. So even if I'm clicking here also, it's not showing anything. 
once I am clicked in this histone area see our content is loaded so this is the way the interaction trigger is working next we can use this hover okay so let me save this one see the response see in this initial load again we are able to see only the placeholder text after hovering this h1 text we are able to see the exact content so in case if i am not providing this identifier value here see even if i am hovering in this h1 element side there is nothing happened but if i am coming to the exact area see the content is loaded okay so we can move on to the next trigger immediate so let me save this one see the response now so this trigger will be executed once all of our application components are loaded it will be executed automatically okay next we can use this when keyword okay so if you want load this content based on some logics then we can use this when okay so what i'm going to do let me declare one small variable is load content so the initial value i'm just providing false and instead of the on let me use this when for changing this value we can use one button and we can define this function So this start is load content equal to I just saved. See in this initial load it is just showing this place called the text. Once I'm clicked this button, it's showing the exact content. So again if I'm clicking, the value may be changed into false, but the content will be showing. The reason is based on the trigger it will show the data. Okay. It's not like a direct to NGF for doing the hide and show activity it will load the content based on some logic once it's loaded it will be available only okay so next we can see some of the blocks so already we have covered the main block that is differ and then one of the optional block placeholder and also we have two more blocks one is loading for showing this loading spinner okay here we can see some GIF loading images. So I'm just providing this loading text only, okay? And one more block that is the error handling. Not error handling, showing the error information. The block name is error. See the loading text also there, but it's uh, closed very quickly. We can include some timings. So it's having two properties. One is after. Let me provide 100 milliseconds. And another one property minimum. I just provided one second. And also in this placeholder also we can apply the same properties. So let me give minimum one second. And in this defer block, let me remove this uh, triggers. So in case if I'm changing this into two seconds, it's taking two seconds after that our exact content is loaded okay this is fine and also we can use the combination of triggers and remove this placeholder condition also 
So in this defer block, we can apply the triggers. Timer, thousand millisecond. See, applied two triggers. Okay. So let me save this one. So I just loaded. See, after thousand milliseconds, it's automatically loaded. Even I am not clicked to this one. At the same time, if I'm clicked immediately, it's not going to wait for the timer. So basically, it is working like our condition based. Okay. Okay, this is fine. And the final one is free fetch. So here, instead of this timer, I'm going to use this free fetch. See, it is working fine. So this, so this is the way we have to use this free fetch syntax also. So now we have covered most of the topic. Still, if you want to get more information regarding this deferable views, just to refer this Angular document. Okay, deferable views. So here you will get the complete information and they have provided a lot of examples also. So it's starting from the main block defer. So after that, they have explained all the blocks one by one, defer and placeholder, loading and error. These are the optional blocks only. So based on our use cases, we can use one by one. Add then triggers. So in these triggers, we have a lot of triggers. So for using the triggers, we can use this on and when keypad. And the triggers are the first one is idle, then viewport, interaction, hover, immediate, timer. And the final one is free fetch. You will get the complete information. Okay. So now we are in the end of the video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.